Hi, I'm Mallory, a physician of classical Chinese medicine, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some insight around fear. I'm going to deconstruct the emotion for you and give you some tools that are gonna help you to work with your fear. In Eastern medicine, fear is seen as a place that is very deep and dark in the body. It is the depth of our being, which is why when it comes up, it feels so scary. Imagine walking into the ocean and you decide to go for a swim, you stay close to the surface and then make the choice to dive deeper. And as you dive deeper, it gets darker. That is where fear lives. And what happens? You turn around and swim back up. You don't want to be there because it's scary. It's the unknown. Well, we want to bring up our fear. We want to acknowledge that we are fearful. When we acknowledge that we're fearful, we take away a lot of the power that we are giving fear. Fear is there to show us that we can live another way, that we have the choice to feed the fear or to feed our own power and our own knowing. What brought you down into the depth of that ocean was curiosity and what moved you away from it was fear. So within that curiosity lives a knowing and a light that there is a better way, that you are curious about transforming this fear. And when you make the choice to choose to acknowledge the fear and then choose to be another way, you're taking the power from the fear and giving it to your next choice. So for example, let's say in recent times, I am afraid to go out because of the virus that's in place. This fear feels really deep seated. It might be an old childhood issue or a recent trauma that has been instilled on me. Acknowledging the fear is the first step. I'm scared. This seems really real and true for me. And then saying and choosing again, wait a second. I know I'm healthy. I know that my immune system is really strong. I know that my body can handle going out into the world and doing what I need to do. This fear is not going to stand in my way. All of those phrases are reinforcing my own confidence, my own power. I'm not giving fear that power. I'm not buying into the story that comes from some place within me. Again, whether it's old trauma or new trauma or something that you can't even associate a story to, don't buy into it. Don't feed the beast that is fear. The thing with fear too is oftentimes it really is deep-seated. That is why it's seen in Chinese medicine as a little black sesame seed that sits at the bottom of our sacrum and comes out to scare us whenever it feels appropriate. So constantly reinforcing every day that you're going to choose again, that you want to live another way, that you're going to transform this fear into something useful and powerful is what will help to move through the fear deeper into the ocean to where prosperity and health and safety and courage and power live. My two suggestions for you are going to be reinforced in acknowledging your fear, 
choosing again and doing it on a daily basis. Trust, trust that you can transform and move through this fear. It's malleable. See it as something that can be changed. Our life is ever changing. The seasons around us are ever changing. So why not be able to transform and work with and move through your fear? I hope that you have found this video useful. If you're interested in going into further depth with your fear, let me know. I'm happy to do another one. I also see patients in person as well via telehealth. And there is a donation link below if you've really liked this content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.